Welcome to Puyvidal, a 13th century chateau nestled in the heart of the Charente. Join my mother, my father, my sister, my fiance, and I, an American family, as we move from New York City to California to the southwest of France. This is Dreaming of a Chateau. It's winter, I'm looking forward to resting, finally. I'm looking forward to making some hot toddies. Uh, I'm looking forward to cooking. <laughs> I, I would love to read some books this winter during this hiatus. And um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I don't wanna leave the Chateau this Christmas. <laughs> Me neither. I, yeah. We've worked very hard to make it a home. And it and we finally want to enjoy is a home. It yeah. as a home. Yeah. I would love to go to Strasbourg. Ooh. The Christmas market. There's um, this Christmas market I've always wanted to go to. And I was here about seven years ago and I missed it by like a day. So now I want to go with Julia and Maruka, hopefully. So we'll see. So short of a, a Christmas market trip, I don't want to leave the chateau. Hmm. Just kind of want to enjoy the changing weather, the leaves falling. Yeah. What are you looking to enjoy this winter, Miss Leach? I'm really looking forward to enjoying Puy Vidal as a home, as our home. I think it's been a place of wonder and magic and a community space this summer and definitely a workplace <laughs> uh, a place to learn new skills try out a lot of new diy um, coordinate and learn about our our supplier network our artisan network just really go through like the paces on how to care for this place but now I'm really, really looking forward to this November, December, January, reaping the rewards of that and feeling like it just embraces us and all of the maintenance and repairs and, and care that we've put in can just hold us after a very, very stressful beginning to our move to France and our, our time here. It's already been feeling that way. Caroline and I have picked out new accommodations for ourselves in the very top of the chateau in the corner. And it's very private and very, very restful. And we've been slowly decorating it a bit because it was kind of like little kid rooms. But picking the most unassuming corner of the chateau has actually been so wonderful because it's just away from all of the sumptuous chateau bedrooms, away from the first two floors, away from the windows, away from the noise, away from the street. And it's just these little kid corner tower rooms. And we've made one a bedroom 
another one a little sitting room tv room and then we have a lovely large bathroom and it's kind of all connected and it was for a bunch of like family members to live in but we've kind of made it like an apartment and I think because Carolina and I lived in New York for so long that actually feels incredibly relaxing to us to have <laughs> small rooms with low ceilings it does with an apartment layout yeah and we were in the king room all of these months kind of like camping out in the king room and strangely it was very unpleasant for what we needed it to be we picked it because it was central and we could keep an eye on everything when we were here by ourselves. But that centrality and largeness quickly became just incredibly stressful. The gardeners would come at 7 a.m. and start leaf blowing and tractoring and it felt like they were in the room with us. Um, there are two sets of stairs that lead up to that bedroom and so we just felt like accessible on all angles. The whole household could kind of reach us. And since we run a lot of the things here, having our private chambers be super central as well was just like too much, too much, yeah. too much. So now it feels like we're achieving a better balance between running everything and being very central during the day and being the people who get things going. But then at night we like ascend to these very, very tiny little rooms where no one goes and no one bothers us. And it's, I think it's gonna save our sanity. <laughs> but this winter is kind of like a nurturing ourselves and our personal life for the first time in a long time. Here, here. Look at this spectacular view. Just coming out here for ourselves is a really rare experience. I was just day. thinking that as I was walking through the, the maze, I was like, I don't think I've walked through the maze since the workshop. Yeah. 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 And before that, not very many times either. Well, when we played with Troubadour. Look at this. I think this is my favorite view. Like right down here. It's like perfectly level. It's so beautiful. Well, Troubadour has grown a lot. She has. And then next week, I'm getting a massage. Mm -hmm. Your mother-in-law is caring for you? She it's always crazy. does. There's no law here. It's pure love. It's mother and <laughs> mother, mother mother love. love. My mother in love. That's very cute. Oh, that is a good one. It's very cute. All right. Enjoy. Thank you. I am. <laughs> she is very healing. Heal our hands. I'm not feeling too well. I made uh, something that Carolina brought. Uh huh. What is it? Dark. I just heated it up, but I made an orange sauce. So it's and duck I make confit, right? Probably. I grab it with my bare hands. Um, then I grab a duck with my bare hands. And this is leftover vegetables from yesterday from mm. our fondue night. And I made an orange sauce and I made some... What's this delicious pasta? It's noodles. With what? With um, tapenade and oh cream. My God. And there's a very cute puppy and a really nice fire back here. Wow. Yes. Mm. I had three coffees and tea mm. in the course of like four hours. Oh, wow. Wow. The the light outside is so cool and blue right now. Mm -hmm. This duck is the yeah, duck is divine. Where's this from? Which one? Which one? I must confess, the duck is from the other butcher. Oh, <gasps> the the traiteur. Yeah, the butcher who's very handsome. Mm -hmm. the tall butcher. The tall butcher. Wait, you said an old guy helped you. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. the older butcher guy. Who's in his probably mid-50s. Hi, Trubador. What are you up to? I see. Okay, scratching. So, this morning, the uh, gardeners have come in to do their, begin their winter pruning of the garden of the interior courtyard. 
it's lunchtime right now, but they are cleaning up and it was looking really nice. This stuff was so overgrown. Um, but honestly, yeah, it just, it really needs it for the winter time. Oh, that's, there's that little cover over there. Don't know where that leads to, but it's looking really nice here. It's absolutely beautiful today. Look at this light. I believe Maruka is in the East Wing studio cleaning up and do some photography for future future workshops. I believe Penelope's working on marketing a couple of yoga workshops. Here's Troubadour. Yeah, it's an absolutely stunning day. Wow. Hello. I'm filming. Hi. Wow, this looks beautiful. <laughs> que bonito. It's beautiful. It's yes. super charming. Yeah. Yeah. Make it Carolina. It's so cute. Did Carolina see this? Yeah, she actually filmed it. Beautiful. I love seeing all the color studies. I actually really have been wanting to put all your color studies up. I was really impressed with how pretty they look. That's right. Remember you didn't want to bring them? And I was like, I really want to mount them all somewhere. Although your placement's beautiful. I love it. I've changed it several times. So I have like the first ones in Oaxaca. It's and super cute. This is really I mean, cute. I kind of want to see them all the way to the bottom. Yeah? Yeah. Cause... Okay. Was... Oh boy. Okay, Mama, so what, what are you nice. doing? What are you doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> so wait, it starts over here. The story starts okay. over here. So That's we've been watching TV in this room, and this room has always been cold. And not only is it cold, but even in the summer, there's a huge draft that goes all the way across to the kitchen. And I couldn't find the source. So now that we have the heater on, we couldn't heat this room. But all the other rooms are heated. And then, I, then Carolina came in here and felt this draft. It was huge. So it's the fire. So in between here, there was a lot of air leaking, as well as here and down here. So today, wow. I pulled this out, and there's a metal piece. So this is like the, the fireplace cover yeah. that most of the fireplaces have. But they have it of wood, and this is metal, and it's rusted, and there's a huge space. So I stuffed all this wrapping, bubble wrap in there and then i wrapped it around and there was air coming out here so it does it's not feel warmer perfect, but it's a lot lot better still a little cold are the radiators on in here the reason it's cold is because i've turned i've opened things up okay so i took some of the bubble wrap and the seals around the windows are broken so i opened them up and i just covered them i mean we can't see out but they're so little anyway that at least during the winter. There's a very weird bug up here. Never during seen the winter, this one we before. Can keep this. Yeah. And then I just this little bathroom with some super chilly. And there's no reason. Wow. That's a very cute window though. It's where the archers would hit their bows out in case you were going to be attacked while you sat on the toilet. Do you know what the French? made it to La Farfui and it looks amazing. Should we find one? Maybe. Where do we put them? I'm going to start the collection mode and Road. we'll get the snow. It's so cute. Oh look, it's a nice container. Be a good starter that's one. A, that's one, and then we could get, an, and then like a big one. Maybe. So we are torn between the Christmas tree one. My mom used to build this little Christmas village under the tree. 
Look at this. This is cute. Hold on. Oh, this one's super cute. Joy, how do you say joyous fit? Joyous fit. Oh, this is cute. This is what we need to put the star on our huge. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Hi, Tree. <laughs> we need a Santa with us. Sure That's her. true. Actually, we need to get with the gardener and have him do that. Look, there's Penelope on the <laughs> ladder. There's Maruka handing stuff out. There's me, maybe. And then there's the gardener. And then Julia's back here somewhere making a phone call about the electricity bill. Somewhere, yeah. Um, we bought some things. Yeah, we bought some things. It's very fun because we had to leave quite a lot at home. <laughs> we really only brought with us sentimental, like childhood ornaments, things that we made, but all of the extra bibs and bobs and lights and like bulbs, we just left because they just weren't worth the space. We got Troubadour, very important hat. <laughs> Um, and then we got some really lovely like winter wonderland type things like this Which I think are pretty and I hope they last another season Look the nutcrackers came with us And then the nutcrackers are really gonna be our Inauguration of the dining room or actually I think they could be excellent in the entryway like two yeah, right when you walk in, two nutcrackers on either side. That's wow. I think he's gonna look really cute on like the wooden door outside or inside or something. <clears throat> I uh, we got, we got little two villages. little villages. I told Julia that if I'm officially buying villages with her, we are definitely gonna get married and we're gonna be together forever. You hear that, everyone? <laughs> it's a promise. It's a promise. <laughs> It's our fondue evening here at Puvida. Brought to you by Maruka. My doctor did that. She matches the color of the fondue pot. We had, I had just lost 15 pounds. I'm about to gain them back. <laughs> After the summer and moving to France. It's cheers. Cheers, 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 cheers. cheers. Take that back. Miraculously. <laughs> Cuando vi el de la, el video que les hicieron para ustedes y vi esa entrada con el arco, dije, ¡Qué bonito! ¡Qué bonito! <risa> ¡Estás aquí! ¡Ya estoy aquí! ¡Están aquí! ¡Qué bonito! Qué bonito. ¿Por dónde quieres entrar? ¿Por acá? ¿O por acá? Yo entré por acá la primera vez. Sí, el sol. Sí, muy gris. Welcome to, welcome to your chateau. Le chateau de Massard. Wow. Como el film. Un libro. Muy, muy bien. Oh, hermoso. Wow, it looks amazing. Es más bonito que todos los otros. Sí. Mira, mira. Hola. Just a second. Mira qué hermoso, amor. No, this. I'm overwhelmed. Isn't it gorgeous? Sí. ¿Tú has sido así?
hello, we're here with Abigail and her mother-in-law, Selena. La and belle dame, s'il vous plaît. La belle dame, oui, bien <laughs> sûr. Oh, la belle mère. Ah, I like la belle, la belle dame. dame. I do too, I think that's much more appropriate. It's kind of like Lady of the Chateau. <laughs> it's beautiful. We've just had a lovely afternoon tea, coffee, pinot. And they're here visiting from Agen. Mm -hmm. and and Canada and Canada <laughs> and Seattle <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been delightful it's our first time meeting in it person is. yeah it's been so fun mm -hmm. I've gotten a tour and uh yeah this place isn't just amazing and so much um it's actually much bigger in real life. <laughs> really? It seems huh. much bigger than when you see it in a video. Mm. You know? oh, wow. um, I don't think we've done a good job of really well, touring all the hard. way through. I mean, it's like there's something in the perspective of when you're yeah. behind, you know, when yeah. you're just filming it on a camera. But yeah. like the, just this length. Uh, like from here mm. to there, I've seen it on camera. I thought it was maybe half this length. Really? Yeah. Let me see oh. how you're doing. So it's it's just really interesting to see yeah. like the scale of things is really different. Than... Well, that's very good to know. Yeah, huh. yeah. Because we do show the courtyard quite you often. You do often. Wow. Yeah, but it's actually quite a lot larger than. Mm. And I must say, I've been to many many beautiful castles in England, mm. having grown up there and lived there for twenty seven years. And I have to tell you that this is more spectacular than any I've been to it's in incredible. England. Yeah. Wow. This is really quite beautiful. It's really amazing. Um, wow. I'm going to be sending the pictures that I've taken of your, of your place garden. to my family in England. Oh, please, yeah. yes. I will. Yeah. And tell them that they can come in, well, until Abigail opens hers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they can drop yeah. in here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we've got to figure out a way to do co retreats. We should. Yeah. Yeah, I really do think. Really yeah. Because yeah. then you can see multiple regions in France. Yeah. See multiple chateaux because I think once you've seen one it opens the appetite for, right, for different exactly, kinds and exactly. compare contrast. Yeah. So Abby came all this way to hand deliver <laughs> the actual original watercolor that she managed to do from Seattle. I did, right? Yeah. And she was so lovely to offer. I was blown away. But I was just like, I love your art. It's so beautiful. She's like, do you want me to do one of your shots? Like, yes, yes. And then we looked through a bunch of different views together. Yeah. And kind of settled on this one, which I really love. Because mm -hmm. you can feel the garden a little bit. But you really see yeah. the symmetry of the facade, which I find you can't really see in real life quite as often because mm -hmm. we're in mm -hmm. alley yeah. cypress so this is like a little bit yeah i did floating i did a little bit of cheating so mm -hmm. yeah yeah but that's fair yeah but yeah, yeah. Artistic, artistic license <laughs> yeah <laughs> It's, it's beautiful. beautiful. It's Thank you so much. <laughs> I would like that with a very nice, um, beautiful frame, gold frame beautiful or something. Mat. The yeah. frame, but also the 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 matting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah nice yeah. matting, so mm -hmm. it grows, and then we can have a collection it. of mm -hmm. them. Yeah, that would be fun. I love this. Yeah. And well, it's really fun to do them in Seattle because it's sort of my way of like, oh, I want to be see? back in France. <laughs> yeah. So I'll study really hard a, a chateau. Yeah. So it'd be fun to have sort of like to do a collection, like do a chateau painting for every yeah. great. chateau. I've done, I've done Stephanie of the Chateau Diaries. I did her little fountain. Oh, yeah. And so, yeah. and then I made postcards. So you, you can do postcards through moo.com. I was going, I was just yeah. about to ask, would it be okay to yeah. stationary yeah, or something? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Just... Yeah. Oh, this is the Chateau. Oh my God, look behind you. Look how stunning. Wow. Julia says I don't tell her how beautiful Pluto Doll is, but... This is me telling her how beautiful Kuvi is. Wow. Carolina likes to focus on how much there is to do, which I love her for. But sometimes I just want to hear it's perfect the way it is. It's perfect the way it is. And to continue to keep it perfect <laughs> requires a lot of love and care and work. But mm. it's perfect the way it is. One big project we have coming up with Monsieur Gante, our gardener, Monsieur Gante, is along the line here of the wall mm. of the chateau. We, I guess the last time they cut and trimmed these trees here that are interfering with the road was about, what did he say, 15 years 15 ago? 15 years, 15 yeah. 15 years ago. This. So we believe he's going to take on the task of cutting this 
very soon. Here comes a car. But I'm actually very interested to know if they're going to rent a machine. He keeps saying he's going to yeah. hop on the wall. Yeah, I don't know. This is not... introduce you to my Tia Carmen. She's my mother's sister and she is here visiting us at Puigidan after many months of hearing about the story and seeing pictures and videos and we've been so excited to have her visit and finally after all of this workshop process has been completed she was able to come and visit us. She's just a woman of impeccable taste especially interior decorating. She very much helped my mother and all of us when we first moved to our last home in La Jolla. It was very cold, very soulless, and on one of her first trips she helped us reimagine it as a beautiful French countryside home and filled it with a lot of warmth and beautiful French motifs and colors, many of which are still here today, have made it all the way to France. Um, so we're asking for her help again on a larger scale. But today we're talking about how she actually finds all the rooms here and what some of her ideas might be for changing out the wallpapers, wall tissue or wall fabrics, um, and giving it a facelift here. You show? Yes, this is one of the wallpapers mm. that we like color wise for any important space in the chateau um, for this room the dining room i think it would make it warmer mm. it would go very well with the beams up in the ceiling and the blue and it also would i think it would in days this chateau has a lot of light because it has windows on both sides mm -hmm. and it would it would look luminous in the daytime and in candlelight i think it look, would look lovely oh yeah because there's that little sheen on the pattern oh see oh see <gasps> it's so much cozier in here mm -hmm. oh it's beautiful what would the woodwork be like just a beautiful cream? Hermoso. Possibly. You can't stay this little blue. You could go after this more sophisticated mm. without the the, yes, that would be the gold. That would be more sophisticated taupe. Yeah, taupe yeah. Or this if you want it to give it more light. But the mm. truth is that there's a lot of light there's here. There's tons of light. This is the yeah. late afternoon. And, and it's raining. Yeah. So we're thinking a motif that's quite patterned for the hallway to make it very fun. But I'll see, ah, see, it's muy bonito. On camera, this, it's very pretty. This is a Venetian look that would be a little bit whimsical for the elevator. Mm -hmm. Other... I thought that was very pretty. Mm -hmm. Subtle, elegant. Y luego, mm. esto también es Jacobia. Mm -hmm. Love that. Y esto es de origen más inglés que francés, mm -hmm. o, a, aunque se puede tener. Y de hecho ya lo tienen en algunas de las cortinas del, mm -hmm. del chateau. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, we're starting to look at the different toiles. And when I say toile, it refers to the fabric, because initially they were all fabric. Is that But, what toile means? That's what toile means, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. This is Toile du Jury at its best. Mm. It's a pastoral scene, but it's also a home scene. You have the 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 people feeding the, the chickens. There's there's a character here feeding the chickens and adornment because and the beautiful coloring of the oranges and the greens and the aquas. Mm -hmm. This little blue that you like could be even painted furniture. Say that yeah. you have something you like you don't adore the finish you could paint it uh, and and have it 
come out mm. of, of this. Or the, the, we need to replace a lot of the upholstered things. Pieces. There, like the couches that are As well. Then you could play with this color mm -hmm. and it would be gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So these are the pastoral th scenes I was talking about. And the people are no nobility dressed in in courtly garments of mm -hmm. the women. No no person, um, shepherdess or shepherd would dress like this. And this is uh, uh, what it was, the decoration for the 18th century. And this would be a very beautiful scene to have, let's say in a room that you wanted to make a big impression, such as the, the king's room. The largest room in the chateau is referred to as the king's room because in olden times, people used to have to have one room in case the king wanted to visit. At the moment, I am occupying the king's room. Which is very appropriate. I'm very happy about it. This is one of the boldest ones, but I think also the most, most gorgeous in the, in the book. Uh, it's again, it's a pastoral scene or a scene of, of maybe workers in the fields. There's baskets. Uh, the gray gives it a very beautiful and understated, to me classy, contrast with the very beautiful orange color. Mm -hmm. And this, I think, would be great in an important bedroom like the queen's bedroom mm. and or any other uh, place the fact that the the motif appears over and over again but it's quite large for a wallpaper and there's a separation i think it makes it more modern because of it and i think it would look gorgeous anywhere you would choose what i love about these colors is they're just they're more jewel tone yes and so much of they put very light yes colors every every i every. i this is i think my favorite i love this one. only only i don't know this and the, the red red is is i mean cranberry red mm. are my number one favorites equally this favorites. Is one of my favorites. okay yeah. This is one that we had looked at before because it's at one a combination of colors that you would that would not be expected as much. Mm -hmm. There is like an ochre color in here that once it's on the wall, this is actually material. Uh -oh. And um, and once it's on the wall, it's going to look luminous. It's, uh, it's going to reflect the light and the play of these two colors, the mm. aubergine kind of color and the ochre background, it's going to play, uh, because this chateau has so much light, it's going to look luminous and maybe whatever molding or whatever detail you have on the moldings can be this color mm. or one, one um, back wall in mm. this color, be it uh, wallpaper or paint. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is also for an important room or any room, really. Could this be here? Would this totally. be way too much with no, this? No, I think it'd look great. I think that would be beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I think this look would look great because we'll you're see. not doing every inch. Let's do it. Yeah, just the three, okay. Yeah. See. yeah. It would be the <laughs> blue room. Kind of beautiful. This is no longer pastoral, but it's what the French call chinoiserie, mm. which in the 1800s, they were obsessed with, uh, with discovering other lands. Mm. The kings started having one little room in their castle, or several, full of Chinese uh, of pottery that was really porcelain, the best por porcelain in the world. And it was often the, the blue and, uh, and cream, mm. blue and light cream. And they call it chinoiserie, which in, in, in French, it just means uh, something from China, chinoiserie. And, uh, and it became part and parcel of, of, of uh, French design from then till now. And so Julia's cousin Fernando arrives today. And we are, he's just in time 
for Thanksgiving, for our first Thanksgiving here at Puvidal. And we're going to the ad with Carmen, his mother, to do the Thanksgiving shopping today. So we're, we can hear hunters. I see, there they are. That's not our property. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. How cool. They're calling the dogs back. They're gonna cross into the forest from there. How cool. See, they have their jumpers on and stuff. That means they're the official. I have my people. jumper on too. Fernando, my cousin, is about to arrive, and my tia Catherine is super excited. There she is, searching. I like these vines. A little stink bug. Mama. Tiene su little... Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're all over. There's baguettes. See? It's even cooler than in the video. Yeah? Yes. That's my biggest fear, is that it won't be. It's spectacular. Yay. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 something else when you see it. Oh, good! I know you're getting the vines like perfect. They all look just at, turned. Wait, look at the chimney with little puffs wow, of smoke. Wow, where's the chimney? We have a bunch oh, there's see. another tower there. See? Oh my gosh, it's so see, cool. Una, okay. Wow, it's stunning. Oh, and that one's kind of like curved on the outside. Yeah, and yeah. Wow. And that one, nobody's because been in. Nobody's been in. Who knows what it has? I, what do you mean it has. Been? Nobody's been in there in 50 years or more. In that one? Yeah, so in the bottom. Ah. Uh, para ir al cuarto de Fernanda? No, aquí. 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 Mira, no, este I'm... Es muy bonito. Este me gusta this, is, wow. this is your cuarto. Okay. Mira qué bonito. Todo. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Es para el príncipe. ¿Este es lo que se llama del príncipe? No. No, este ni siquiera es. Es es Oh, yo me quedo aquí otra vez que venga porque me See? encanta. My nephew is playing Marco Polo with his mother. Aww. And the dog. Oh, really? Is Troubadour out there? Yeah. Uh. Wow. He didn't like my book. It was in Carmen's hands. Se te pavo. Se te pavo. So you guys don't really Okay. No, it's okay, Marie. We just got back from the market and we're bringing Thanksgiving ingredients. So, so oh, this is a chicken. Oh, yes, that's the chicken for Carmen's soup. That's the chicken for Carmen's soup. <laughs> so, um, we're doing lamb chops that are actually a specialty of Spain. Lamb shanks. Shanks, but yeah. it should be a lamb leg. I think they're in here. And it's a Spanish recipe. It's in um, honey, 
had some honey in it. And, but she got sick, so I was left over cooking the dinner. I made um, stuffing, and it's an Epicurean from Epicure. Um, no, oh, that's them for sure. And, um, and that's in the oven now. Mm -hmm. And then I, I did this onion. So yeah. she actually shared her recipes mm. with me, which is great. Now I have them. Okay, that's them. Ooh. One. Wow. That seems like plenty. Yep. Yeah. I haven't done this in a long time, this level of preparation. Um, a lot, a lot of chopping. I think we, we need to get a chopping. Sure. Something. A chopping something? Uh, something chops. that chops things for you. I've never done it. <laughs> no, it. like a food processor? Yeah. It was yeah. a lot of chopping. Yeah. Uh, for what? We got fresh for... herbs, and a lot of our herbs are from our own garden, like Ooh. sage and rosemary and thyme. We don't have parsley, but everything else we had here, so it was super fresh. Mm. Yeah. Lovely. And um, the kitchen's a mess because I've been working here. have the same okay. influence of the Moorish yeah. influence, but no oh quiero entrar. No? Oh, see. Thank God. Bon appetit. Bon Especially brought out for, nearby, right? mm -hmm. yeah. for you. The prestige. We bought it from a grandson of his mm -hmm. grandmother's set, and he drove it over from Limoges to us. Wow. Okay. Because, of course, oh, no one wants it now. Mm -hmm. See? Can you explain your wine? Uh, this was my second best uh, uh, purchase at, mm. at Bordeaux. Mm. Saint Julien Chevalier de la Boitière. Mm. I consider it very, very good. Wow. Okay. Salud. Salud. Oh my God. Very, very delicious. Very good. Salud, salud. Wow. And it's very good for this. Thank you for coming. Gracias por tener.